Winning the lottery twice probably has longer odds, but the same fisherman catching the same rare fish twice has to be up there. Alex Dimitri reports it's happened to Austin Inser, who hooked his second surprise in less than a month. Last month off Ocean City, Austin Inser caught the surprise of his life. Oh my God, it's an OPA! <laughs> and uh, everybody on the boats, what's an OPA? It turns out an OPA is the world's only warm blooded fish. It was also the only known recreational catch in Maryland waters. Then, this past Saturday, James was up top, so had a better vantage point of it said, and said, Guys, I'm not joking. It's another OPA, and it's bigger. A second OPA, 60 pounds heavier than the 105 pounder caught in November. Yeah, it was uh, pretty unreal when we saw the second one coming up. We just couldn't believe our eyes, uh, you know. Just, in sheer, sheer shock of holy crap, there's another one. A rare catch anywhere, but usually in the Pacific. All over the world, you know, they're caught, you know, here and there, nothing really consistent. So to catch two in less than a month is, uh, we're pretty excited about it. Another one! Another one! Ever considered giving up fishing and playing the lottery instead? Nah, nah, we'll keep fishing. Hooking two OPAs was certainly a thrill, but it wasn't the catch Austin and his crew were after. Hopefully we start, uh, you know, getting some more swordfish. <laughs> OPAs are fun, but we were out there for swordfish. Although as a consolation catch, two OPAs are still better than one. Alex Dimitrik, WJZ. Well, OPAs are considered a delicacy, and restaurants pay thousands of dollars for a single fish. But because he's not a commercial fisherman, Austin Enzer cannot sell his fish. Instead, he's turning the second OPA into another communal meal. There's something fishy going on. We oh. <laughs> keep saying that. Deliciously it's, fishy. It's interesting because it, it's a water just warmer now with That's a good question. climate What's change going or whatnot. On here?